Okay, Posse Guys and Gals, the Scary Joker here with a Let's Play of Resident Evil 7, the demo. Uh, more or less more of a... Perspective episode, I'd say? Mm, sort of giving my thoughts here, and I can't really consider this a full playthrough because, you know, this is a demo, but... I just felt it was necessary to do one, given that back in the day... Back in the day, God. Uh, when Resident Evil 6 came out, I was, um... I actually did do a playthrough of that with my friend Kevin of the demo, and... Eh, it was... I don't know why I said it was a good demo. I don't know what really possessed me to, you know, say all that stuff, but... I do not recommend Resident 6, nor do I recommend any of those videos that I posted back then. Because they're very cringeworthy. But this does seem to have promise. I shall dash them against the stones. I think you mean to say bash? It seems like it started to be right there, but you just sort of... gave up. It's kind of a weird way to... you know, use bash. Take a little bash. Okay. And I did originally uh, have a recording of this, but it didn't... Oh, it's... It was really weird, actually. Like, my um computer just cut out like while I was recording my audio and stuff. I was like, what the fuck? Paranormal fit affecting my recording. So, which actually, for some reason... Not for some reason, there is uh, some paranormal undertones in this, as the community for this game has discovered a lot of, um... Uh, ghosts and stuff. I think it was like two in particular, like a female ghost and a male ghost walking around. And again, some people think it's like a physical thing, I don't know, I'll, I'll point it out if we ever do get to it, but the probability of me actually seeing it is unlikely, because... I think during my original run, I didn't see any ghosts when I was trying to get the first initial landing. And I will be trying to show off, like, the, uh, second ending and stuff, too. Just so you folks there can get a full little taste as to what we're dealing with. And yes, there is a dead, charred-up crow. Two charred-up dead crows in there. Oh, my. Somebody was hungry. Mmm. Oh, oh, that's larva. Oh, fucking larva. Oh, oh my. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, oh, this this fridge just screams yummy. I totally want to eat all in here. Oh yeah, yeah it is. Oh, this root cap. There's like a. Nope, nope. There's some some bugs. There's some cockroaches. Eh, well, that's pleasant. Okay, am I missing anything else here at all? Okay, I don't like the sound of that, so I'm just gonna keep on walking. Okay. There's the bolt cutters. That actually did freak me out the first time around. Um, like, I actually thought this was an actual baby at first, and I was like, What the fuck? Why is it put a bum? Uh, but if we look closely, it's more of like a plastic kind of baby, because you can see around the neck more of like an oversized kind of head thing, and it just has like mold and fungus all on it. The formed head is like, Ugh. Nasty. All these flies and shit, and skin, cow meat. The fuck, you know, are they housing a zombie in their basement or something? Which it very well could be, I mean, you know. We haven't actually gotten that far yet. I mean, with the demo, you know, we're sort of confined confined to this very specific fate space. Um, I'm hoping that there will be a bit more areas around and stuff, and we'll just be confined to this one house in the final product. If we do, we do. It would be kind of cool how they, you know, experiment with it, because it seems as though they have sort of a... Derelict house footage. Okay. Number seven. All right. Uh, they have sort of departed from their action-oriented stuff, especially with the shift in perspective, that they're trying something new. Essentially what they're trying to push with this game. Which I'm all for, because honestly, uh, the state of Resident Evil has sort of been on a downward spiral ever since 4. 4 I thought was pretty good. Uh, oh, I didn't see that clock there. Hmm. Interesting. 
And like I was saying, it has been sort of on a downward spiral. spiral? Uh, five and six weren't really the best, in my opinion. Five was... Okay, six was kind of... It was all sorts. It was a mixed bag. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I did not like it. It was just way, way too different from, like, four. You know, four was... It was good. Five, okay. Six, for me, it was just terrible. Just way too over the top, way too fucking cheesy. And I understand, yeah, Resident Evil, Resident Evil is kind of cheesy, because... You know, hello there. Did you find this guy? It does take itself a bit too seriously from time to time, you know. Oh god, now voice acting for PlayStation 1. Ooh! Fucking hokey as shit. I don't do ADR. You're an Amazon, Jill. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we Are you fucking serious? You're gonna say that shit right in front of me, even though I'm holding, you know, an expensive camera that I could easily fucking trash. Just like we always do. Call me out. Try to say the show's name. Place me. No problem. Some people. Tonight on two of Good enough. Another worthless fucking shit. Happy? Hey, what fun. Okay. But overall, I, I am very impressed, you know, with the sort of return to horror. Alright, let's go. And again, like I keep saying, and I'm gonna say a million times more in this video, Get it's just a demo. Through my experience with, you know, video games and stuff, and just li with life in general, just never get your hopes up too high. I know what a rude asshole. So, why are we in hell this time? It's safe to have a little bit of skepticism. Press? I feel What's the that we will be crushed so much when the final product is released. It doesn't live up exactly to your expectations, which nothing ever will. Fuck me. I was Sadly. an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. He said you sucked over there, Pete. What's the story, Andre? Hmm? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. Oh, it's kind of weird how, how this stuff like, affects the camera. I'm not really sure if it's like triggering something, perhaps, by looking at it. Plenty. Because this game is set up by a whole bunch of triggers. If anyone has played uh, PT Demo, Outlast, or Amnesia, or not Amnesia, but like Outlast and PT Demo, this does seem to be extremely similar to them. Especially PT. A lot of people speculate that this was designed to sort of fill the void for the PT Demo, kind of being removed from uh, the PS4 story. Or, not story? Store. So... Which is very unfortunate, because I never actually even got the chance to play it. If I had, I probably would have been doing the same thing. Because it's that good of a game, like, or it was that good of a demo. Like, there was so much there. There's so much, you know, interesting stuff about it. Which, unfortunately, a lot of people won't get to experience firsthand and have the, only the ability to really experience it, like, through other people's videos and stuff. Which is very unfortunate. Let's see. Yeah, looks like there's some lava in there, so it hasn't been too much time between current events in the real world. But it has still... Where is he? It's apparent some time I'm has passed. This is the last time I work with that guy. Anything here at all? I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy? You stick oh, now you're talking up to me. Yeah, you know what? No, fuck you. I'm gonna look around a little bit more. Trying to find something very in particular here. I'm um, looking exactly for the lockpick, which I did kind of have trouble finding in my earlier run. Uh, like looking around here and like as thoroughly as possible here. Just for some reason can't find it. Let's automatically no, I pick it up automatically. And it's somewhere in the kitchen. I think, at least. I don't know, I did want to do some research, though, before going into this. Not exactly spoiler-heavy, but just enough to where I understand, hey, you know, this is what I should be on the lookout for point in the video to make for an interesting commentary. Stuff like that, like with the ghosts and whatnot. Which I'm hoping I can capture, but... I don't know. Probably not gonna get that opportunity. 
Knowing my luck at least. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't seem to find this here lockpick. So I think it's safe to assume... I don't know, there is some type of trigger that I'm probably missing here. I don't know. Essentially, if I were to get the like, lock pick, I could use it to unlock that drawer in the VHS world, which in turn would cause the, uh... What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Yes, yes I did. You should probably open it. Uh, which in turn will affect uh, how stuff is Andre? in the real world. Where the fuck is he? Particular items do do that. They do trigger specific things. Which seems to be what the community Andre, of this there? game, of the demo is finding. It's actually very interesting, like, how... Um, this, how much people are really digging into this. You know? Like, they're it's receiving this, literally, almost the same treatment as the PT demo with people trying to find, like, alternate endings and stuff. It's, you know, even theorized there could be even be, like, a, a fifth ending or something. Um, so far, I know there are only, like, four. I, I will be attempting to do at least the two that I know. I, for some reason, I cannot trigger the other four uh, events. The other four are just phone messages and stuff and alterations of them, so I will most likely include... Just the audio messages of those throughout the course of the video. So, I did do, I did take the right steps, but for some reason, I, I'm not really sure if it was because I was holding a particular item. I didn't exactly. What go the through. hell? Oh, I'm sorry, you want me to right here. My bad, I'm just blabbering, just blah, 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 off in the corner. All right, new yeah. Deal. There was an end table over there, it was not. Okay. Let's just head down here. Coming with me, Pete. Alright, good. Kind of a right face there, Pete. Kind of trustworthy gent. Well, not, I can't say trustworthy. But, you know, more, more of an asshole. So if I die down here, yeah, you're, you're an ass. You first. Need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. Oh, yes, uh, of course. You first. Of course, yeah, you're. Totally gonna come down here and be like, hey man, I'm sorry about before. I didn't mean to be such an ass. I'm just nervous about the show, man. This went through good. Nope, no, you're just gonna stay up there while I'm, you know. Hey, Andre, there he is. He's a cool guy. How you doing? Daddy! Oh god. Looks like his teeth were torn. Oh, doesn't sound like our friends did that well. Ooh, hello. I shall dash you against the stones. Dash you against the stones. All right, just only so that there while I was watching this film. Okay. I think in a repeated viewings or something, uh, you will, I don't know, eventually see more, like more ghosts or something around. Particular one that people seem to be kind of raving on about is the uh, female ghosts. So, which I have not yet had the pleasure is the right word of seeing. So, unfortunately, I'm not really sure to trigger. I think it's pretty random, actually. Okay, and if we notice, the ladder here has actually been removed. So, can't assume that most likely this is where they keep the dead. Most likely, and that's probably a pile of heads. Is that a pile of heads? No, there's blue and red stuff in there. Cardboard, just smaller trash bags of stuff. Okay. Okay, that door was closed. I made sure of that. Yep, yep, okay. I actually triggered that before. Um, I, that's... That's not actually a ghost, that's actually, uh, one of the people who live here. Uh, yeah, he's not- he's not a threat so far, I'm not really sure, you know, why he just walked past us and then actually go for us. Um, 
but okay yeah I'm just gonna keep on moving should we stand here blabbering uh, it's, as far as I know, he doesn't actively pursue us. It's not to say, though, that there isn't something here which could actively pursue us. I mean, I haven't... You know... Like I said, it, the experience is different for everybody. You know, you have to sort of... I, I would highly recommend those of you watching this to at least try and get a hold of this if you do on PlayStation 4. Eventually, I think it will come out for the Xbox One and Steam. I think I said that prior. Um, Capcom at least stated they would allow people to try it out on the other systems. And, of course, I can't get that to open. Great. So I was able to find a lockpick. So... Gets me every time. Okay. Just do this. <laughs> Welcome Ooh. to the family, son. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Oh my, this guy's hands, they're pretty veiny. Not really sure. What's up with that? Alright, so if we go over here and pull this as soon as we spawn or er, pop in Then it should be... Yep, it's right there, okay Switch. Come on down. There we go. Now, just have to keep them in our line of sight. I know you don't necessarily have to do this your first time around if you just want to hear this is the original message. But I'm going to try here and see because you do have to keep them in perspective at least. Because if you don't, they will turn, which will cause this not to be. Correct, okay. So from up here, we get to go into this room. And what we have here is actually a image of an umbrella helicopter flying overboard. And if you remember from the first game, um, they actually uh, did cause the bio outbreak with the T-Virus. So, and it seems as though this home was affected by that, or some type of variation of it, possibly. Are they watching us from the helicopters? From that helicopter? Okay. So unfortunately this home probably was affected by that. Alright. Let's see if I triggered it this time. I know who you are. No, I didn't, damn it. Who are you? Well. Memories hold the truth. Don't let appearances mislead you. Oh wait, no no, I did, I did. Awesome. Okay, cool. I didn't get to actually trigger it the first time around. Um, but that's one of the alternate method messages. Cool. Okay. Welcome to the Oop. family, son. Yeah, regardless of what you do, um, this will always... He will always get you when you get to this point, and you will always see this ending thing. We gotta get the hell out of here! Come on! So that was Resident Evil 7 demo, folks. It it seems pretty good. Like, in all honesty, I, I do have kind of high hopes for this. I really hope that this is sort of a representation of what the final product will be, and we're not just, you know, screwed over, like, at the last minute. Oh. Well, it turns out this is just Resident Evil 6 inside of uh, a farmhouse. Sorry, guys. Uh, we just thought it would be a, a better directional choice. I really hope that this is, in general, what it is. Even if it's, I don't know, if it's short, uh, whatever, I mean, I know that some people kind of throw a hissy fit over it nowadays. Oh, it's too short. I mean, Resident Evil 2 
It was very short, and people seemed okay with that. I, different times, I guess, but whatever. Um, but yeah, like I said, this does seem as though Capcom's attempt at returning to the original formula that made Resident Evil so compelling to many people, just the whole fear factor itself, uh, which I'm really glad they're doing. I mean, they are sort of including a bit more... It seems at least they might be including a bit more paranormal stuff, as you can see like through these images and whatnot, of what the uh, Resident Evil 7 demo community is sort of calling them as ghosts. Um, so, possibly? Personally, I really don't mind. I think that would actually be kind of a cool, you know, alternative for them to pursue. Perhaps they're just hallucinations of the uh, main characters. Of, of the main character, at least. I know that Resident, one of the prototypes for Resident Evil 7 tried doing this, or they did want to pursue the idea of paranormal stuff. Uh, I think it was like the Hookman prototype, at least. Um, which, unfortunately, I never saw a light of day, because it was eventually scrapped, and we got what we have today is Resident Evil 7. Actually, Resident Evil, Resident Evil, not Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 4. Sorry, get my numbers mixed around here. It's pitch dark, it's late. I wanted to create this most atmospheric thing for me while playing this, so it get really... So... Yes, but for a fun fact, a lot of Resident Evil 4... Uh, a, a lot of Resident Evil 4 was really prototypes and stuff, and then scrapped and scrapped and scrapped until finally we got the final product. I'm with you, like, three or four, I think it is. Um, but it's kind of cool that they are pursuing sort of a scrapped idea, you know, seeing more potential with it. So, who knows, it could pay off. It could be something entirely, you know, different from what I'm taking away from it, from what the community's taking away from it, because there is still a lot more out there to speculation. Like, there, some people even theorize, you know, like I said earlier, there is a fifth ending involving headset and whatnot, um, which has of yet to be triggered. If it is, I will, of course, showcase that in, like, a next video, like a part two, per se, or something like that, of, like, new findings. Or, you know, just, like, a, not even part two, just, you know, hey, this is what so-and-so found in this video. Hey, I think, guys, this is cool, you should check it out, whatever. Which I'm sure many people will have already by the time I do post something about it, but... There's still a lot out there that, in this demo, that people will can still find. I think that's really cool. I, of course, it is taking a bit away from PT from the PT demo, and, you know... I don't know what you're doing there, Capcom, if you're just doing this for the sake of, you know, appeasing fans, or for the PT demo, or probably both. That's what they're probably doing. Either way, it's... I'm very interested in this. I'm interested to see how the final product turns out, but... Like I said, you know, with the state of today's video game industry and stuff, unfortunately, I cannot say to just wholeheartedly, oh, you know, go get the game and stuff. I, even if I did, you know, don't. It's more or less to, I would suggest personally, um, waiting at least until more of an opinion can be formed, especially with something like Resident Evil, because unfortunately, it's gotten to the point where, um, I personally feel, at least, that uh, Capcom, not even Capcom, but a lot of companies cannot be considered trustworthy nowadays, um, especially without a display of their final product. You know, and just to, while it is good to be optimistic and stuff, I really do not suggest um, getting your hopes built up so high. I know that's really, you know, it's. I really hate saying and stuff, but it's for the best to remain skeptical. For, unfortunately, it is for the best to remain skeptical, I find at least, in the video game industry nowadays, as of 2016, simply because it's just, you know, time and time again, just so many people's um, hopes and assumptions over what the final product will be are just crushed by something which is just a shallow husk of what they really want. I mean, look at stuff like No Man's Sky, or, uh, you know, like, myself personally, with Resident Evil 6, when that was released, because I thought, oh, this is gonna be good, you know, it'd be fun! But instead, I just pulled my hair out and screamed and screamed and screamed. Not out of terror, but out of disgust. So, then again, there's something there for people. I'm kind of curious as to how um, you know, Capcom is also going to appease the newer fans of Resident Evil, like the more action-oriented ones, which they seem to have accumulated through 
Resident Evil 4, 5, Operation Raccoon City, and 6. Either are they just going to give the middle finger to them, or are they going to supply possibly a product in the future which could accommodate to that? I know that they'd release some sort of uh, umbrella operative game or something. I heard that was terrible, so I'm, I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. Or if um, they're possibly, I really hope they don't do this, uh, do a hybrid of action stuff with horror. I know that's what. Resident Evil sort of has become in kind of, if you really think about it, at its base, what it was, because there was action in the game. And I feel, you know, perhaps that's an element that should be toned down a bit for this installment, just for the sake of trying to win back some lost fans who came to primarily for the horror, primarily for the atmosphere of this, which this game just reeks and bleeds of Taishaga. Alright folks, so those are my thoughts towards Resident Evil 7 the demo. It's, like I said, it's fucking phenomenal. Oh my god. If you have not played this yet, play it. Either wait until it comes out for your, your console, your PC build or something, or you know, just get it for the PS4. If you have the PS4, it's... Oh god, it's so good. It's like crack. That is all I have today to offer to you folks, so farewell, I've either saying, have to say goodbye, peace.